Have you ever thought about a statement so contradictory that it makes your head spin? Welcome to the fascinating realm of paradoxes, where our established understanding of logic and reality is defied and questioned. Paradoxes are like intricate puzzles. They present scenarios that are self-contradictory or defy our intuition. They're not just mental gymnastics, but they challenge us to reconsider our assumptions and push the boundaries of our thinking. Just when you think you've figured it out, they flip the script, leaving you in a loop of endless contemplation. From ancient philosophical conundrums to modern scientific anomalies, paradoxes have intrigued the greatest minds for centuries. They're the ultimate mental workout, forcing us to confront the limitations of our own understanding and to question the very nature of reality itself. So, get ready for a wild ride through the twists and turns of the human mind. Prepare yourself as we delve into the top 10 paradoxes that will stretch your mind. Imagine a barber who shaves all those, and only those who do not shave themselves. The question is, does the barber shave himself? This is the crux of the barber paradox, a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of self-reference and logical consistency. Let's delve into it. If the barber shaves himself, he violates the rule that he only shaves those who do not shave themselves. However, if he doesn't shave himself, then he must, because he shaves all those who do not shave themselves. Either way, we run into a contradiction, making the situation logically impossible. This paradox was formulated by the mathematician and philosopher Bertrand Russell, and it played a significant role in highlighting issues in set theory, a branch of mathematical logic. Essentially, it demonstrates that a set containing all sets that do not contain themselves leads to a contradiction, similar to the barber's predicament. Quite a hairy situation, isn't it? What if an object or information could exist without ever being created? Quite a question, isn't it? Welcome to the world of the bootstrap paradox, a concept that often pops up in time travel narratives. Imagine this, you're a time traveler who stumbles upon a blueprint of a revolutionary device. You take this blueprint to a genius inventor who then creates the device based on the design. Years later, you find the same blueprint and decide to take it back in time to start the cycle again. But here's the kicker, who actually created the blueprint? It seems to exist in a loop with no discernible point of origin. This is the bootstrap paradox, a temporal anomaly that challenges our understanding of cause and effect. It's a fascinating, mind-boggling concept that forces us to question the linearity of time and the very nature of creation. It's like the chicken and egg situation, but with a twist. Can you ever reach a destination if you always cover half the distance? This question takes us to the heart of Zeno's dichotomy paradox. Picture this. To get from point A to B, you must first cover half the distance. Then to cover the remaining half, you must again cover half of that distance and so on. This creates an infinite series of halfway points that seemingly prevent you from ever reaching point B. But we know from experience that we do reach our destinations. So how do we reconcile this? Well, the dichotomy paradox challenges our understanding of infinity and limits. It's not that we can't reach point B, but rather that our journey is a series of infinite steps. This paradox highlights the abstract nature of mathematical infinity, suggesting that infinity doesn't prevent us from reaching our destination. It's just a different way of understanding our journey. A never-ending journey indeed. What if you knew you were to be hanged unexpectedly within a week, but you could logically prove it won't happen? Welcome to the unexpected hanging paradox, a brain teaser that challenges our understanding of expectation and prediction. Let's imagine a prisoner sentenced to hanging. The judge declares that the execution will be a surprise, happening on one of the next seven days, but the exact day won't be known until the morning of. The prisoner, being a quick thinker, reasons that he can't be hanged on the last day, the seventh, because then it wouldn't be unexpected. He can apply the same logic to the sixth day, the fifth, and so on, thus convincing himself that the hanging will not occur at all. But then, the hanging does happen on a day that becomes unexpected, since the prisoner had reasoned it out. Thus, it becomes a paradox of expectation and prediction. Quite an unexpected turn of events. If you replace every single part of a ship, is it still the same ship? This is the crux of the Ship of Theseus paradox, a philosophical conundrum that challenges our notions of identity and change. Picture this. You have a ship, the Ship of Theseus, and over time, you replace each and every part of it. Now, would you still consider it as the same ship, or is it a new entity entirely? And here's another twist. What if you took all the old parts and built a new ship with them? Would that be the ship of Theseus? Or is the one with the new parts the true ship of Theseus? This paradox raises profound questions about identity, continuity, and change. 
It questions whether something that has changed in material but not in form continues to be the same entity. A real identity crisis, don't you think? What happens when a liar proclaims they are lying? Welcome to the liar paradox, a riddle that pushes our understanding of truth and self-reference to the limit. Imagine a person who always lies. One day this person proclaims, I am lying right now. If what they're saying is true, then they must be lying. But if they're lying, then what they're saying is true. This creates an unresolvable loop, a paradox. The liar paradox isn't just a fun brain teaser. It's a fundamental problem in logic and philosophy, prompting us to question the nature of truth itself. Can something be both true and false at the same time? Or does the existence of such paradoxes suggest that our understanding of truth is somehow flawed or incomplete? The liar paradox leaves us with more questions than answers, challenging our deepest held beliefs about truth, logic, and self-reference. A lie or the truth, you decide. What if you could travel back in time and prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother? As intriguing as it sounds, it introduces us to the grandfather paradox, a classic conundrum for time travel enthusiasts. Imagine this scenario. You hop into your time machine, set the dial to about 70 years ago, and stop your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. But here's the catch. If they never meet, one of your parents won't be born. And if one of your parents isn't born, then well, you won't be born. So if you were never born, how could you have traveled back in time to prevent your grandparents from meeting in the first place? This paradox suggests that time travel could create situations that defy causality, that is the relation between cause and effect. It's enough to make your head spin, isn't it? Time travel sure is complicated. When does a heap of sand stop being a heap of sand if you remove grains one by one? This is the crux of the Sorites paradox, a philosophical conundrum that challenges our understanding of vague predicates and arbitrary definitions. Named after the Greek word for heap, the Sorites paradox illustrates the problem of vagueness in our language and thought. Suppose we have a heap of 1,000 grains of sand. If we remove one grain, it's still a heap, right? What about two grains or 10 or 100? At what point exactly does it stop being a heap? This paradox forces us to confront the arbitrary nature of our definitions and the blurry line between what is and what isn't. It's a gentle reminder that sometimes our language and logic may not precisely capture the complexities of the real world. So the next time you're at the beach, ponder this. It's not just a grain of truth. Can an all-powerful being create a stone so heavy that it cannot lift it? This, my friends, is the omnipotence paradox, a profound question that has puzzled philosophers, theologians, and deep thinkers for centuries. Here's the dilemma. If the being can create such a stone, then it's not all-powerful because there's something it cannot do. Lift the stone. Yet, if it cannot create the stone, it's also not all-powerful, as there's something it cannot create. It's a conundrum that challenges our perception of omnipotence, suggesting that unlimited power might be a logically inconsistent concept. The omnipotence paradox doesn't just question the nature of divine powers, but also the very boundaries of logic itself. It's a riddle that forces us to confront the limits of our understanding and reminds us that there are some mysteries that might forever be beyond our grasp. A divine conundrum indeed. Does more choice lead to greater happiness? This question leads us to the paradox of choice. In an ideal world, having more options should mean more freedom, more control, and ultimately more satisfaction. However, in reality, it's often not the case. The paradox of choice suggests that an abundance of options can lead to anxiety and stress. When faced with too many choices, we can become paralyzed, unable to make a decision. And even when we do decide, we're often left questioning whether we made the right choice. Moreover, having too many options increases our expectations. We anticipate that with so many choices available, we should be able to find the perfect one. But when our choice doesn't meet these heightened expectations, we're left feeling dissatisfied. So the paradox of choice presents us with a counterintuitive truth. More choice doesn't necessarily equate to more happiness. In fact, it might just be the opposite. Sometimes less is more. We've just journeyed through 10 mind-stretching paradoxes, each one a unique riddle unraveling our understanding of reality. We started with the barber paradox, a complicated knot of logical grooming. Next was the bootstrap paradox, challenging our understanding of cause and effect. We then delved into the dichotomy paradox, a paradox that split our journey in two. The unexpected hanging left us hanging indeed with its intricate unpredictability. 
the ship of Theseus sailed us through a sea of identity crises, while the liar paradox had us questioning the truth. We grappled with the grandfather paradox and its time-traveling conundrums, followed by the Sorites paradox and its heap of confusion. The omnipotence paradox questioned the power of the Almighty, and finally, the paradox of choice left us pondering our freedom to choose. Each paradox, a thought-provoking puzzle, reminding us that the universe is filled with mysteries. Remember, in the world of paradoxes, things aren't always as they seem.